The VOD F-4 U Corsair is a legendary American fighter aircraft that outlasted all other American fighters in production for 11 years. In 1943, it was the final American fighter aircraft with a piston engine that went into battle. With an 11 to 1 kill ratio, the F-4 U Corsair proved to be an effective fighter and assault aircraft during World War II thanks to its reputation for speed, toughness, and firepower. Whistling Death is the moniker given to it by its unique sound produced at fast speeds. The U.S. Navy Bureau of Aeronautics started accepting designs for new fighter aircraft in 1938 with the option for both single and twin engines. Entering the race with an emphasis on the Pratt & Whitney R2800 double WASP engine was Vought Corporation. To optimize engine power, they opted for a huge Hamilton standard hydromantic propeller, but they had trouble creating landing gear struts that were not long enough to clear the ground. They changed to an inverted gull wing, added a creative bent wing designer, and installed an air cooler and intercooler in slots to handle this. The pilot had an average side view and a low view of the engine cowling from his big cockpit situated over the wind trailing edge. Fins and tail planes were rounded and fabric covered the control surfaces. The US Navy, who signed a contract for a prototype in June 1938, was impressed with Vought's development. Brewster created the FG and FA variants based on the Vought Corsair design. The first prototype took to the air on May 29, 1940, and by October, the XF4U1 prototype had broken the 400 miles per hour barrier with an average speed of 405 miles per hour, making it the first aircraft operated by the US federal government. The inverted gullwing, however, tended to stall on any side, and the aircraft's reputation for stalling at low speeds remained. The designers included a new stall warning and put in a spoiler to remedy this. Vought agreed with the Navy's desire for increased aircraft weaponry when World War II broke out in Europe by installing 650 caliber machine guns in the wings of the new prototypes and shifting the cockpit 35 inches rearward. This made landing challenging, particularly for pilots without much expertise. Nonetheless, the majority of issues were resolved, and in the middle of 1942, the design was approved for manufacturing. During carrier qualification testing in September 1942, the Corsair experienced technical difficulties with its landing gear, wheel, and tail hook. The U.S. Marine Corps prevented the Corsair from taking off until all issues were fixed. At the close of 1942, the Corsair was converted to an island-based marine in the Southwest Pacific, and in 1943 it started flying in considerable numbers over the Solomon Islands. Because of the Corsair's superior speed and weaponry against the Japanese A6M0, Marine pilots found flying it to be enjoyable. Reportedly called the Sikorsky, the F-4U rose to fame due to its remarkable kill totals against the Japanese. Before the Navy started operating them in 1943, the Marines were the first users of the F-4U fighter aircraft. It received certification for carrier missions in 1944 and teamed up with the Corsair and Hellcat to defend ships from kamikaze assaults. In addition, the F-4U served as a fighter bomber, closely assisting Allied forces stationed across the Pacific. Marine pilots started employing the F-4 use close support and amphibious landing capabilities in the Central Pacific and the Philippines. Flying several Corsairs for the Marines, Charles Lindbergh was able to safely drop bombs weighing 2,000 pounds in the midline and 1,000 tons in each wing. When it came to making strikes with high-explosive bombs, napalm, and high-velocity aircraft rockets by 1945, the Corsair was a fully-fledged mud fighter. Captain Kenneth Royser, an American Corsair pilot, managed to escape crashing into a Japanese fighter aircraft during the famous combat of World War II. The Japanese launched many attacks, 
including suicide pilots known as kamikazes. The Allied forces employed layers of fighter patrols, radar pickets, and anti-aircraft weaponry to fortify their defenses. Captain Kenneth Royser and First Lieutenant Robert Klingman, two U.S. Marine pilots, were conducting combat air patrol in their crosshairs on May 10, 1945. Royser climbed up to look into paper trails he saw above the patrol. They were intercepting a Kawasaki Ki-45 while they were over 38,000 feet in the air. The Marine pilots discharged half of their ammo to lighten the aircraft as the Japanese jet attempted to outpace them. This tactic worked as Royser used a fleeing Ki-45 to discharge the remaining half of his ammunition. A Japanese plane suffered heavy damage to its right wing during the Battle of Okinawa, which resulted in the engine catching fire. Pilot Lt. Klingman brought down the Ki-45 by chopping off its rudder and diverting the Japanese crew with his own propeller. Klingman made two more passes at the Ki-45, cutting the right stabilizer and rudder. After losing control, the Japanese plane plunged into the South Pacific Ocean. Even with the damage, Klingman managed to land without using the engine's power to power the propeller directly. Royser and Klingman received the Navy Cross for their valiant acts, and the F for U Corsair was repaired and sent back into service. Because of its performance in the conflict, the Corsair was dubbed the Angel of Okinawa. With an astounding 11 to 1 kill ratio, the Corsairs, a crucial aircraft in World War II, were credited with downing 2,140 Japanese aircraft. Of the 64,051 sorties the F-4Us conducted, 15% were from carriers. More than 15,500 tons of bombs were dropped by them, making up 70% of all the bombs dropped by U.S. fighters. The Corsairs outperformed the F-6F Hellcat in speed, although they behind the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt by 13 miles per hour. The P-47's greatest speed was at 30,000 feet, whereas the F-4 used mechanically supercharged engine allowed it to reach its maximum speed at 20,000 feet. The same Pratt & Whitney R-2800 double WASP engine propelled all three aircraft. The only World War II fighter to be produced after the conflict was over was the F-4U Corsair. 12,751 Corsairs in 16 different types were produced, and they were used by the Navy and Marines until the 1960s. The longest manufacturing run of any U.S. piston engine fighter aircraft is the 11-year production run of F-4U Corsair. Later, during the Second World War, the Navy informed the Corsairs to employ them in nighttime combat. In the Korean War, Lt. Guy Borderline shot down five enemy planes to earn the sole ace rating for AF-4U. During the battle, the Corsair largely encountered Yak-9 fighters. Following the debut of the jet-powered MiG-15, the F-4U was relegated to providing ground support alone. In the 1960s, Corsairs remained in service with several nations, notably France and Algeria and Indochina. The last battle took place in 1969 during El Salvador and Honduras football conflict. Following the Korean War, the aircraft was formally decommissioned by the U.S. Navy. The F-4U Corsair's legacy extends far beyond its wartime achievements. From its innovative design to its unparalleled combat record, the Corsair solidified its place as an iconic symbol of American aviation prowess. Its enduring production run and continued service in conflicts long after World War II demonstrate the enduring impact of this legendary fighter aircraft. Though its active duty may have ended, the Corsair's legend lives on, forever etched into the annals of military history as a true champion of the skies.